There we go. Oh, perfect. Great. Um, yeah, let's, I don't need to start that introduction again, but we'll get straight into the questions. Who would like to take the first one? Kenneth? Do I have your mic? Yes. Probably not. Is there one? Hi, Timba. Would you say this is one of the most beautiful grounds that you've, you've ever been and, and might play at? And, and also, what do you... What are you guys expecting of, of the weather to, to do tomorrow and does that influence your plans at all? Yeah, definitely is one of the beautiful grounds to play at um, around, around the world. Um, in terms of what to expect tomorrow, we're not expecting rain, that's what we were told. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens from there. If it affects our combinations, Probably not too much. I think we'll obviously have a look at the wicket. I think that will be probably be the biggest determiner as to which way we go. Um, but the weather, I guess, is just more of an awareness and us being mindful of uh, potentially that could be a factor in the in the game. Just want to know as well. Um, did you guys stay up last night, watch the box, and, and and if so, what did you what did you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm still trying to wake up from. On the late night, um, incredible game, um, inspirational the way the guys went about their business. Um, I think the intensity that the game was played at from the first minute till the last, I think that's one thing that the guys kept um, speaking about. Um, obviously happy, you know, as the Springboks were able to, to get over the line. But yeah, incredible, um, inspirational game. Tell me, you played two, one, two. Um, things couldn't go, have gone better for you so far. You know, does the does the plan change now, or do you just keep doing what you're doing? I think we just keep doing what we're doing. Um, we'll take it game by game, as I, as I always say. Um, every game will present different opportunities, different challenges, and it's for us to to man up to whatever those challenges are. Um, so coming up against Netherlands tomorrow, nothing will be different. Um, we'll assess conditions here in Dharamshala and play play accordingly. But yeah, good start. Obviously, want to be two and two. The important thing is that we keep getting better and better and use that momentum. Cool, go high, and then we'll take one in the front. Um, Timo, obviously, I suppose that sort of like extends also to the outfield. There's been a lot of talk about it being a bit bumpy, you know, and you know there's had to be some remedial work, you know, done in the build up and stuff. So. Um, are you sort of like in agreement with Rob, you know, who said sort of like you might have to be cautious of diving too over eagerly on the surface or how would, do you think you guys approach feeling on this? Yeah, I think, I mean, the field is a bit touchy. Um, we did have a fielding practice uh, last night. And to be honest, it didn't play as bad as it, as it really looked. So, but I guess we'll see how it goes um, within the game. Um, we have spoken about... You know, trying to be a bit more cautious, uh, maybe changing your, your, your diving technique. Um, I don't know how easy that is to do when you're in the heat of the moment. But I guess guys will just have to, I guess, just pay um, a bit more attention to, to, to that. Um, but yeah, like I said, when we filmed yesterday, it wasn't all too bad. Um, but we'll really get to see when we're playing in the game tomorrow. Hi, Tim. Uh, you have been scoring runs uh, at a good strike rate, you know, all of you, all the batters. Uh, is that a plan that you had prepared earlier before the tournament, or it is just about the wicket, the, the wicket something, the way wicket something? Yeah, I think I mean, to go back to what I've always um, said regarding our brand of cricket, you know, us being opportunistic as, as batters, as bowlers, um, looking to take the game on, um, and that obviously means. You know, generally means that the strike rate will be a bit higher. So, yeah, I mean, if you look at our top six, top seven, all of the guys really have been striking at um, high strike rates. Other guys are obviously exceeding um, in, in, in in that department. But I think it's just more of us, you know, keeping up the intent, looking for opportunities to, to put bowlers under pressure and obviously backing our skills and, and execution. So coming into the World Cup, um, Nothing is going to be different. We're going to keep going the same way. Um, we're going to keep back in that. Hi, Tim. Uh, so the last time uh, you guys played against Netherlands, they pulled one against you at the ICC T20 World Cup last year. And uh, with Afghanistan having pulled off an upset, a bigger one uh, yesterday, do you, I mean, how you are assessing the opposition now? Does that sort of change your mentality towards them? 
Not at all. Um, I think we'll give them the respect that they deserve, Netherlands. Um, we know that their side will prepare um, the proper attention to detail and they'll cover their bases. Um, so, you know, we've got to make sure that we do the same thing. Uh, we make sure that we pitch up. Um, there's no expectation that things are just going to happen our way. Um, but most importantly, we just keep back in what we are doing. Um, so there's no complacency or taking the game for Keep taking the game for granted. Um, the last time we played the was back home in South Africa in that series. We obviously needed those points to qualify for the World Cup. And I think there, you know, the performances as we showed were critical. So tomorrow we'll be looking to do more of the same. There were eight members by my count of the eleven in Adelaide in the coming of the Netherlands or in the squad. I'm sure it didn't feel like it that day, but it's almost an advantage now. You don't need to convince yourselves that they can beat you. You know that. What's the question? Well, that, that you, you know, there's no kind of, it's not an airy-fairy thing that these guys could beat you. You know that for a fact, and that must almost help with, not motivation, but, you know, you, you know for a fact that they could beat you, that you cannot, under any circumstances, take them lightly. We definitely won't be taking them lightly. Um, it was a T20 World Cup last year, um, so 50, 50 over World Cup now, different format, um, different different ask in terms of your skills, being able to do your skills for a longer period of time, so I think that's something that I think we all need to appreciate. Um, like I said, we played it in South Africa, and I think our pitches there were, were emphatic um, in, in, in my view, so I think in terms of the confidence and belief within the team, without us being arrogant or loud about it, I think it's still up there. Um, we still respect our position, not just the Netherlands, but any opposition that you come up with against an international level. Um, but we'll be coming up, we'll be coming into the game with the same um, mindset um, that we had against Sri Lanka and that we had against Australia. Any last question? No, that concludes the press conference. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. हमसे जुड़े रहने के लिए हमारे YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और नई वीडियो की नोटिफिकेशन के लिए बेल आइकॉन को दबाएं। अगर आप ये वीडियो Facebook पर देख रहे हैं तो लाइक जरूर करें और ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर करें। इसी तरह के और भी अपडेट्स के लिए फॉलो करें हमारा Instagram पेज हिमाचल डॉट